I am Teacher Renette, and for today's lesson, we will be dealing with the proper maintenance of hand tools and 5S. Who among you are familiar with the proper maintenance of hand tools and the 5S? In computer system servicing, it is very important that you know how to take care of your hand tools. How to care for hand tools Professionals also neglect to maintain their hand tools. But these tools are expensive, and they are your babies. If you take care of them now, they stay with you in the long run. Clean your hand tools for better performance and lifespan after every project. If you want to professionally clean your hand tools, purchase a gun cleaning kit. You'll find the tools you need to clean almost any hand tool you have. You need to store your tools correctly for the proper maintenance. Next, it comes to clean them properly. After that, the sharpening arrives. Then you need to lubricate the tools in the right place. At the end of the day, don't forget about routine, inspection, and always follow the manual. Storing hand tools. Storing tools in the correct way is very critical. This is the act of putting things in the specific position to be used in the future, or the place where you put it. Some of the general storing tools tips include Some of the general storing of tools include Don't just dump all your tools into the one toolbox. You should store all your tools in a one dry place. Do not expose your tools to rain. Don't leave your tools laying on the ground. It's risky and no good will come from it. Avoid stacking tools on top of each other unless they are well protected in cases. Cleaning your tools. Cleaning is the process that removes unwanted substances such as dirt, infectious agents, and other impurities from the object or the environment. Cleaning takes place in many different contexts and uses a variety of different methods. A number of occupations are dedicated to cleaning. The material that your device makes plays a significant role in the method of cleaning that you should use. For example, if the instrument is mostly aluminum, avoid using alcohol as it may cause the aluminum to deteriorate. It's best not to use anything for brass except a clean cloth that you dump with distilled water. General cleaning tips include do not leave your tools in contact with dirt or oil for long periods, as oil may cause corrosion. Avoid touching gauges with your bare hands as skin oils can be harmful. Use a smooth non-abrasive cloth to clean your tools and ensure that the cloth is clean before use. Sharpening of tools You should sharpen your tools with sandpaper, water stones, or diamonds. It's the simplest and cheapest way to go with sandpaper. The problem is, it doesn't structure so it bounces off. You need to use it on a flat surface. Put a piece of wood or glass under the sandpaper, then sharpen the sandpaper with your tools. The sandpaper rounds out easily and will ultimately become more costly than the other choices. The water stone is a little more costly than sandpaper, but it lasts longer. You've got to wet the stone and then sharpen your tools on it. Diamonds are the best sharpening system in the long run. If you're going to get into diamonds, don't get the cheap ones. If you do, it's going to rest and corrode. The diamond comes off and it will soon become worthless. Lubrication Lubrication is the regulation of friction and where by applying a friction reducing film between moving surfaces in contact. The lubricant used can be liquid, solid, or plastic. The key objective of lubrication is to reduce friction, but there are many other benefits to this process. Lubricating film can help avoid corrosion by protecting the surface from water and other corrosive substances. In addition, they play an important role in managing device pollution. The primary functions of a lubricant are to reduce friction, prevent wear, Protect the equipment from corrosion. Control temperature, dissipate heat. 
control contamination or carry contaminants to a filter or sump, transmit power or hydraulics, and provide a fluid seal. Types of lubrication Full flame lubrication can be divided into two forms. First, the hydrodynamic. Second, elastohydrodynamic. Hydrodynamic lubrication occurs when two sliding moving surfaces relative to each other are completely separated by fluid film. Elastohydrodynamic lubrication is similar but of course when the surfaces are in rolling motion relative to each other. The film layer in elastohydrodynamic condition is much thinner than the hydrodynamic lubrication and the film pressure is higher. It is called Elastohydrodynamics, since the film elastically deforms the rolling surface to lubricate it. Boundary lubrication is seen where there are regular start ups and stop ups and where shocking loading conditions are present. Some oils have high pressure or anti wear additives to help protect surfaces where full film cannot be achieved due to speed, load, or other factors. Mixed lubrication is a cross-section between boundary and hydrodynamic lubrication. While most surfaces are separated by lubricating layer, asperities are still in contact with each other. That's where the additives come into play again. The 5S 5 is a method of organization of the workplace which uses a list of five Japanese words. Seri, Seitan, Seisu, Siketsu, Shitsuke. Sort or seri is sorting through all items in one location and removing all unnecessary items from the location. These are the objectives. Minimize the time loss to search for an object by reducing the number of objects. Reduce the risk of destruction by unwanted objects. Simplify the inspection process. Increase the amount of space available and useful. Improve protection by removing barriers. Set in order or Satan places all the requisite things in the best position to perform their duties at the workplace. Satan's purpose is to make the workflow smooth and simple. Implementation Arrange the workstation in such a way that all the tools devices are in a close proximity. Easy to access and in a logical order adapted to the work time. Place components according to their application. The commonly used components being closest to the workplace. Arrange all required products in such a way that they can be quickly picked for use. Make it easy to find and pick up the things you need. Assign fixed position to the objects. Use simple labels markings, or hints to make it easy to return items to the correct location and make it easy to find missing items. Shine or Seizo Regularly sweeps or cleans and inspects the workplace, equipment, and machinery. These are Seizo's objectives. Improves the efficiency and the safety of production processes, reduces weight, prevents errors and defects. Keep your workplace safe and easy to work in. Keep the workplace clean and enjoyable. When in place, anyone who is not familiar with the environment must be able to detect any problems within 50 feet in 5 seconds. Standardize or Siketsu is intended to standardize the procedures used to sort, order, and clean the workplace. The aim of Siketsu is to develop protocols and timetables to ensure that the first 3S activities are continued. Sustain self-discipline or Shitsuke or sustain the processes established through self-discipline of the workers. It is also translated as do without being told. The purpose of this is to ensure that the 5S strategy is followed. How is it? Are you excited to practice the proper maintenance of hand tools and 5S? You can have it in your performance activity. And that is all for today. See you next time!